Well, the spinners for both campaigns are out in full force here in Spin Alley uh, in the post-debate wake. You can see equal numbers of blue and red signs, but we want to go from Spin Alley to Washington, D.C., and that's where syndicated columnist Charles Krauthammer is live. Charles, your thoughts on tonight? I think it's unequivocal Romney won, and he didn't just win tactically, but strategically. Strategically, all he needed to do was basically a draw. He needed him to continue the, the momentum he's had since the first debate, uh, and this will continue it. Tactically, he simply had to get up there and show that he's a competent man, or somebody you could trust as commander-in-chief, a man who knows every area of the globe, and he gave a lot of interesting extra details, like the Haqqani Network, which gave the impression that he knows well, what he's talking about. But there's a third level here, and that is what actually happened in the debate. We can argue about the small points or the, 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 the debating points. Romney went large. Obama went very, very small, shockingly small. Romney made a strategic decision not to go after the president on Libya or Syria or other areas where Obama could accuse him of being a Bush-like warmonger. Now, I would have gone after uh, Obama on Libya with a baseball bat, but that's why Romney has won elections and I never have even contested them. He decided to stay away from that, and I think that actually might work for him. What he did concentrate on is the big picture. People don't care that much about what our policy on Syria is going to be. They care about how America is perceived in the world and how America carries itself in the world. And the high point of that debate for Romney is when he devastatingly leveled the charge of Obama going around the world on an apology tour. Obama's answer was, ask any reporter and they will tell you it wasn't so. It's about a weak as answer and you can get. And Romney's response was to say, to quote Obama saying that we dictate to other nations, and Romney said, we do not dictate to other nations, we liberate them. And Obama was utterly speechless. Obama, so that's the large picture, America strong, America respected. What Obama did is he kept interrupting, interjecting, and his responses were almost all very small, petty attacks. The lowest was when he's talking about sanctions in Iran. When I was working on sanctions, you were investing in a company in China. I mean, th that's the, the kind of attack you expect from a, a guy who's running for city council for the first time. That's not what you expect from a president. A personal attack about an investment when you're talking about Iran. I thought Romney had the day. He looked presidential. The president did not. And that's the impression I think that's going to be left. Charles, Mitt Romney sounded a bit more dovish, uh, less bellicose than some perhaps on the right wanted to hear. How will that play? Well, I think those on the right like me who would have been loved to have been bellicose and loved the near fisticuffs in the last uh, debate will understand exactly why Romney did it. He stayed away from the pitfalls. He did not uh, allow himself to be painted as a warmonger. This is what Reagan understood in 1980. He did it extremely well. So Romney did, and I think this could help him to win the election. Charles Krauthammer, thank you.